All right, I'm going to try to go through this as fast as humanly possible. What we want to do is we want to take specific clips out of all of these ones, and we want to batch export them without ever creating a project. We want to just batch export our favorite parts of these clips. Um, you're going to need a couple things. One, you're going to need command post, and the link will be in the description of this video. You're going to need compressor, uh, because compressor is awesome. Um, and if you don't have compressor, you can buy it from the Apple Store. It is 50 bucks. If you have Final Cut Pro, you should have compressor. So, let's get started here. The first thing we're going to do is, I don't really need this whole section down here, so I'm going to go up to... Um, window go to workspaces and we're just going to go to organize because that just gives us a better view and you can actually get rid of that part and i don't need that either so i'm just going to get rid of our inspector show in workspace sidebar yeah okay so i can get rid of sidebar too because i don't really care about the sidebar all i want is a viewer and my clips I'm going to actually increase the size of these clips by bringing it over it just shows more time on here and so here we go and using your J K and L button that will send you forward uh, L will so, <laughs> let's see if I can figure out how to talk here K is the pause button L is forward you can hit l again and it'll go forward faster and faster and hit k to pause um, you could hit j to go backwards and k to pause so we're going to be using jkl on the keyboard and then i and o so i so let me go back here i is the end point o is the out point so i'm going to hit x to clear that um, starting at this very top clip here, we're going to go, we're going to start going J, it's going to bring us forward, hit O, and that's my out point, that's where I want that clip to end, I'm going to hit F, and that's going to favorite the clip, and that's important, so what we're going to do is we're going to set in and out points, and then we're going to favorite the parts of the clip that we like, so I kind of like where that number 10 is revealed there, in, we're going to go back forward again and out F. That's going to favorite it. So um, you can either click on your next clip or you can hit the up or down arrow key and that'll bounce you from clip to clip. So I'm going to just hit the up or down arrow key and skim through this real quick. Let's see, where do I like this? You know, I don't like any of that, so I'm just going to go to the next one. And so it looks like I had set up this to be a reveal of these football players. And yeah, right about there is where I like it. So I'm going to hit out and F. And I'm going to do like one or two more clips just for, just for the hell of it. And looks like I set up a shot right there, and oh, you know, I bailed on that shot. So let's see. There we go. That's that looks like the beginning. I set up the shot, and then I wanted it there. Out F, and then I started doing other things. And there's a cool shot with the 50-yard line again. So in out. Favorite. I guess that was the 40 yard line. Oh, it was both 40 and 50. So, and then we have this little shot. So, I have it set up so that it really it kind of starts here. And then I. And how far back do I go? Yeah, we'll end it right there. Then hit F. Now, once you've done that, and obviously you can go through and edit the rest of it, it you know, favorite everything. Now you're going to go up here to the to the thing that says all clips and you're going to go to favorites boom so all the in and out points that you just favorited those are going to be there um they're going to be separated even if you have one two three four or more favorites in a single clip it will turn just those favorites into their own individual clips now what we're going to do um now that we have the three four five six seven we have seven clips total that we are going to export. I'm going to go to 
uh, compressor. And we're going to open up compressor. And there's a few changes we need to make in here. So one, we're going to set a location. That's the first thing we're going to do. So um, up here it says settings and locations. We're going to go to location and we're going to hit plus. And we're going to select a folder. So I'm going to create, whoops. Uh, I'm going to go to one of my external hard drives right there and then I'm going to create a location for this and I'm just going to call it temp tutorial export create and I'm going to choose that um, and over here it gives you an option to change that location so you can actually click that little button and you can put it in a new folder I'm just gonna cancel that I already selected the folder I want um, how do you want the file name source is fine and then what I usually do is um, I do like source and date so it'll do the source name plus the date so I'm gonna go to settings and now that I have that, what I want to do is create a new setting over here. So I'm going to hit plus, new setting, and generally what's what's pretty much acceptable most of the time, Apple devices is essentially MP4. It's something, you know, it's a pretty common, uh, for some reason Apple and, you know, Final Cut and Compressor calls MP4 Apple devices as a setting. I don't know why, but it's not a big deal. You can go Apple devices, or you can go to like uh, create a QuickTime movie. Um, for most people, Apple devices is fine, so that's what I'm gonna use. And then the name is going to be I'm gonna call this temporary tutorial setting. Now you can call it whatever you want. Um, so if it's something that you're gonna be using a lot then use that. So now over here it creates this new thing temporary tutorial setting. So you go over to general and in your default location you're gonna switch that over to the location that you just decide that you just created temp tutorial export that's the folder. So that's the location right over here and formats gonna be video and audio um, name temporary tutorial setting and then you're gonna go to the top click video and you're gonna set your frame size to what you want it to export at. So um, I'm gonna set mine to 4K because that's what I shot it in. Frame rate, automatic. Color space, automatic. Um, in fact, I can just set, oh yeah, okay, there we go. Um, then, depending on what you want, you could do multi-pass or you know, just an automatic bit rate. That's always fine, you wanna select best quality for the encode um, and then down to your resize filter you can mess with these I always select anti-alias and motion compensated and then I click adaptive details and set those um, and details or anti-aliasing <laughs> anti-aliasing and details I always set to like 10 or 11 and we don't need to add any video effects but you can do that down here a bunch of things you could do there um, so that's our basic setting right meow uh, so we have that ready now we're gonna go back to the Final Cut Pro and I'm going to I'm gonna search just using command space that'll open up your little search thing I'm gonna open up command post command post is a pretty nifty uh, application. Yeah, it's going to bring us back into that other page because it's full screen. I'm going to highlight all my favorite clips in Final Cut and then I'm going to hop up here to my menu bar and I'm going to go to command post and then go down to batch export and we're going to select browser. Um, then I'm going to ignore this and I'm going to click on send a compressor. Now I could change that destination preset and if it doesn't say send a compressor here, 
um, go ahead and click on this and it will open up a set of options for you Doo -doo -doo. there it is so send a compressor is going to be right there on the top and you could have all these other things but send a compressor is going to be what I want click OK and then I'm just going to click on perform batch export and then you don't touch it don't touch the computer for a minute and it's now going to say batch export is now complete the selected clips projects have been added to your final cut pro or compressor render queue I'm going to click done now I'm going to go back over to compressor and you'll see that all of these clips have their own little thingy thing we're gonna select the top one shift select the bottom clip and then just grab your setting drop it on any of them and it will add it to all of them and it'll do that whole loading project thing but since you have already set up all the settings exactly the way you want you're gonna hit start batch it's gonna bring it into your active projects thing and you can look through all these and see what the status is on all of your exports now the cool thing about this is that while compressor is working you can come back into Final Cut Pro and if you're editing or doing something else you can continue editing and doing all your stuff um, without having to worry about interfering with the export let me go back here and we're gonna go into the hard drive uh, that I have set for the export double click on this and you see that it is starting to let's see it's starting to finish it up oh yeah that first clip is done so we can check that well we'll open it up there's the clip and pretty cool so um, and you can see that it is going to keep on exporting all of these clips into this export folder anyway hope that helps it's a decently long tutorial video and it's very complicated but these are the kind of things that you should learn as a professional video editor, creator, filmmaker, etc. Talk to you later.